This is Exmark Stand On 30 Inch Aerator, and today we're going to be discussing several maintenance items and service tips that are key to keeping this machine running in the field. Uh, first, we're going to start with the chains. There are six chains on this unit, um, three on each side. It's a mirror image of each other, and uh, these are probably the most important items to maintain uh, on the 30 inch aerator to uh, ensure that it stays in the field running properly. Uh, your first chain on each side uh, comes off your transmission right here, and uh, your uh, adjustment port is this gold bar. It has three carriage bolts from the underneath side, so you simply loosen the three nuts and use this bolt to push this bar forward and then tighten it back down. From this chain, we run back to a jack shaft that has a chain coming from the jack shaft back to your rear tires, and then one inset that runs from the jack shaft back to the tines. You also have a pillow block bearing here that will uh, need uh, greasing uh, routinely and several others that we'll show on the inside of the machine uh, momentarily. The Xmark Stand Up 30 inch aerator comes standard with an access panel uh, on the rear of the machine. Simply uh, remove the bolts to take the panel off. This allows you to access the tying area for uh, easy clean outs. This is something that probably should be done every day when, uh, when you get done aerating, cleaning out any, any loose material, vines, what have you, green mesh. Um, this is held into a lot of side that the tines may have picked up. Um, from here, you can also see your chains, uh, make any adjustments to them. You can see you have several pillow block bearings underneath, two in the middle, and then one each on the outside. There again, those should be greased uh, at least once a week. What we're looking at right here is the chain that comes from our jack shaft back to our rear tire assembly to, for our forward motion. And what we're going to discuss here is how to adjust this chain using our idler sprocket that is located uh, on top of the chain. Uh, you want to check your uh, tension uh, at least every day just to make sure that it's not getting too loose or too tight for that matter. But as chains do, they are going to wear um, and uh, you need to keep them adjusted so they don't come off and or break. Uh, the the sprocket itself is held on uh, by a bolt, a carriage bolt that comes from the outside of the frame towards the inside. So you simply just have to take a three quarter inch wrench, loosen the lock nut, and that will allow you to slide the sprocket or the bolt uh, in the, the slot that's cut into the frame. So if you need to tighten it, move the sprocket down, tighten it back down. If you need to loosen some, move the sprocket back up and tighten it back down. And then finally, make sure you check your chain tension to make sure uh, that you have um, adjusted it properly. At the end of each day, you want to make sure that you are removing any debris that has built up in your tines, uh, keeping it out of your chains and away from your sprockets, uh, whether that's uh, debris from the yards or uh, the green mesh that you find in a lot of your sides. Uh, also, make sure that you're looking at the chains in between some of your sprockets and uh, making sure that uh, debris doesn't build up in there as that can cause premature wear to your chains, causing them to loosen um, before they normally would. And finally, we're going to talk about adjusting our inside chain here that runs to our tines uh, to drive them. Uh, you can see the chain comes from the inside of the jack shaft. The sprocket is found on this frame piece located at the top here and has a carriage bolt that runs from the, the inside to the out. So you simply take a three quarter inch wrench, loosen this nut, and again, pull the, the sprocket along with the bolt down until it's tight enough, tighten it back up, and then again, check your chain for proper tension.